So that wasn't so bad. Um, a week and a bit and a couple of blocks at a time and I have my pile what done. What have I learned in 10 years of quilt making? Uh, well, <laughs> reflecting on this one, one of the very first things is that I do not need to cut so clo close to the selvages. Like it's just incredible how many uh, close calls I've made in this this Another thing I've learned is um, I don't need to match the threads. I came from dressmaking where matching threads was quite critical. Um, you can see I've got yellow, I've got red, I've got blue. I don't need to do that anymore. Um, and quite by accident, something that I found while making this quilt is I had green, lime green thread in my um, sewing machine when I started and I was just too lazy to change it out. And lime green actually turns out to be excellent. It blends into so many different colors. Um, I'm actually gonna use this in the future. One of the things that I did right on this quilt right from the very beginning was I drew myself a map. Um, map with a legend and all the pieces marked on it. So when I came back to this after 10 years, well, truly seven, um, I was able to jump in. I knew where everything went. I didn't have to refigure everything out. Um, and I actually do this with every quilt I work on. Um, I'm usually working on three to four at a time and it really helps me jump around all the different quilts. Um, I tape it to the wall so I can see it in front of me and it just really works for me. Anyways, um, next step is to put it all together. Stay tuned.